Good afternoon, everyone. I've, I'm, I'm just letting you know, uh, I've met with uh, everyone on my staff today. I think you've seen me uh, walk around from office to office. And uh, I have a great deal of respect for every single person that works with me here in my office. And I have a talented and loyal group of people. Um, they're working their backside off. They're here morning, noon, and night. And they're giving it all they have. But I've also always said to my staff, if a new opportunity arises, take it. And I want to thank Kia and Brian for their service. They've been valuable members of my team. I wish them all the best in any future endeavors. I emphasize, and I will assure you, that the work is being done, phone calls are being returned, emails are being responded to. I was elected to keep taxes low and to reduce the size and cost of government, and that's exactly what I'm doing every single day. I've been interviewing candidates all week, and I look forward to hiring new staff as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Have you done any illegal drugs since you've been there? Anything else? Have you tried to obtain a video, sir? Anything else? Are you upset Do you know where the video is? Says he believes there's a tape. Are you upset that the deputy mayor says he believes there's a tape? Does that upset you? Anything else? The What's premier suggests he's ready to step in if needed. Uh, I think the premier should take care of the problems that she has at Queen's Park right now. Did you mention an address to David Price? Anything else? How did you know Anthony Smith, sir? Mayor, what's going on in your office? Why are people leaving? What's going on in your office? Was, there's nothing going on in my office, obviously. Um, I'm bringing in new staff. And if people have a, a better opportunity, I encourage them to move on. So you're saying five, five people have I guess a better opportunity? Maybe you should. I don't get into personnel issues, but maybe they can uh, answer your question better than Mr. I can. I Mr. Fulton, you've been presiding until the air is clear on this thing. I'm, um, I'm not stepping aside. Um, I'm running um, in the next election, and uh, if the great people of this city um, want to go in a different direction, that's what uh, their prerogative is. But I guarantee my name will be on the ballot. I'll be registering the first day I can possibly register, probably January 2nd uh, next year. I can't wait to get on the campaign trail. I want to thank the people of this uh, city for the outpouring of Go support that I'm getting. Um, and things are doing great, out. and we're uh, doing fine. Uh, are you worried you about, answer, what, Mayor, are you worried about the attention this is bringing to the city of Toronto? Or are you worried about Toronto's reputation? You're the mayor Not of the at all. Every, Everything's going fine. I'm, I'm keeping taxes low. I've saved a billion dollars. We're getting things done. You look at what we did at the executive committee. Um, we're going on the right path, getting council reduced down to 25. We've saved $65 million in, in uh, the services that we're merging together. We This, this city is in better shape for sure than it was two years ago. Is Our taxes really are, are lower well than then? any other North American city. Um, I'll, I'll put our city up against anyone. We had zero is, it, is it respect for taxpayers to ignore such Can you really say everything is fine, is Mr. Mayor? For taxpayers, Mr. Mayor? You, you watch what, how you spend taxpayers' money. I've watched every dime. I can continue to watch every dime. And we save a billion dollars, reduce my own budget by $700,000, reduce council's um, expense account by $900,000. That's what you call respect for taxpayers. Is it respectful to ignore such allegations, sir? Yeah. 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 Yeah.